I remain with my bearish bias on Bitcoin, expecting lower prices to come. Inside of this video, I'm going to be telling you the exact reasons why I remain bearish, the targets that I have, and the new trade setups that we're going to be looking at for the week ahead. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video, learn a lot, and yeah, get ready for the profits that are going to be coming to us. So yeah, champions, the way I'm going to approach this video is I'm going to actually review the past few weeks here. Okay, I'm going to start off here so you can understand the context, you know, give you a few different insights, very important insights, pass on some knowledge. Then we're going to be moving on to the current price action. Okay, what we're looking at for today. And then I'll be ending with, you know, the week ahead view and the trade setups that we have there. All of the information that I'll be sharing with you in this video is important. Okay, so let's start off with the contextual view of the current chart. So obviously our low was put in here down at around $24,850. That was where we formed the intraday swing failure pattern. Okay, onto the NPUC, which as you all know, was a long trade setup for myself and many champions. Okay, from here, I was very vocal on each of my videos saying, do not short Bitcoin yet. Look for higher prices. No shorts, look for higher. No shorts, look for higher, right? And I remained with that bias up until the very high where we formed here above $27,000. At this point here, I still remain bullish. There were no bearish factors for me. There was no bearish patterns. There was no bearish order flow. I remained very vocally bullish at this time after my long from down here at the lows. But that changed. As I told you, I was wrong. I am no longer bullish. I am now getting ready for the drop. I am expecting now lower prices to come. And what was that reason for the change? It was as we formed more data, I changed the charts. I understand what I'm looking at and I changed my bias now to look in for lower prices to come. Of course, I also updated this over on the uh, Twitter. So if you follow us over on Twitter, you'll know that we also had this lovely, um, you know, reason to change. And what, like I was saying here, an egotistical trader would ignore the new data of the bearish order flow of the new bearish patterns and just want to be right, right? They're just bullish, stuck in their ways, ignoring all the new signs. You know, I removed my ego, I removed my emotions. I saw the bearish order flow. I saw the bearish patterns and I've told you all, now let's just get ready for a drop. We got to update our bias with the new data that we've got in on the charts. This is what we called at Chart Champions, trading the charts, okay? Accepting, you know, there's no ego to be had here. Let's just look at making profits. And profits we made as I made that correct call for you all as we did get the drop. We did get a move to the downside. And here we are after that subsequent move down. And I'm still remaining bearish here. I'm still looking for lower prices. That triangle target has now been hit here today, this morning. <laughs> well, actually Sunday night, depending on, I'm in Asia right now. So this is was for me at like 3 a.m. But in UK time around 8 p.m., you know, we're starting to hit that triangle target. And I also made it very clear. I'm going to read you through a few posts here just so you can see the transparency that I give to my team. So obviously originally calling for that drop here while we're inside of the triangle. From here, we obviously do start to get that drop very nicely indeed. You know, telling my team as we're breaking down on you know, remaining patient for lower. Still want to see at least the NPOC for the triangle target okay, that we have, which was just below the NPOC. Okay, from here, we obviously come down. We slightly front run the NPOC. And this is why I told my team, you know, I've not longed here. Okay, I'm looking for lower. You know, the reclaim of the value area low would be uh, my sign to change bias. But for now, I'm remaining bearish. Okay, I am remaining bearish, expecting lower to come. See if we get that SFB on the NPOC. But I made it very clear uh, to my team. Okay, nothing is changing for me over the past 48 hours of this range. Bias remains the same for lower prices to come. OK, I'm still remaining, you know, bearish while there's no reason to, uh, you know, get overly excited here. Of course, this was a potential long as we SFP this low. I even told my team in the Champions live stream, didn't take the long, not taking a long now. Um, you know, I'm looking for lower prices. And then actually what was lovely was during the Champions stream, we actually then saw the bearish divergences started to form here locally. So we just had a lot of reasons to remain looking for lower. And then I woke up. <laughs> this is 9 a.m. for me. Uh, but 2 a.m. UK time, I uh, woke up to this where we had then seen another breakdown. And for me now, it's just become very clear, you know, um, nice way to wake up for lower prices. For me, no long trade yet. You know, there's no trades for me at the long because I'm still now waiting now lower for my next target, which is the weekly. So you can see how I'm approaching this. I mark out my levels. 
Okay, I understand the data and the order flow that I'm looking at. From here, I'm making very well informed decisions. I just want to say this. Can you imagine I published this video saying I was wrong, get ready for the Bitcoin drop, uh, and then price had got a massive increase in price? I can only imagine what... Uh, <laughs> I can only imagine how uh, the comment section would have been. Uh, thankfully, you know, I've told you, you know, I've told you this. I, um, I trade with a high confidence. I'm able to publish such videos, even admitting I was wrong, you know, because when I am incorrect, I'm happy to admit it. You know, this is a game of trading. Not everybody's, uh, you know, it's not possible to win 100% of the time. At times we have to, you know, remove that bias, say we've misread some information or we've got some new information necessary to change our bias. You know, I was, was very, um, you know, I was, I was correct on this call. We got lower, thankfully. <laughs> And, uh, you know, here we are back down around $26,000. So I'm remaining bearish here. As I as I mentioned, that first part of the video is explaining to you the context, how I originally took that long, brought it up to 27K. And then I saw new data in the charts for me to change my bias, look for lower. And, you know, you know thankfully we got lower, right? And now from here, I'm still looking for lower prices. You might be wondering why what's the target what's happening next well i'm actually now looking for around this weekly this is a zone i wouldn't class it from here uh from 26k but i've got this zone which goes slightly below the level two because within this we have the monthly point of control we have the cc we have the weekly itself right so we're looking from just above the weekly uh to give us a little bit of a zone because we have a lot of confluence here so this is my next zone that i'm looking for so i'm looking for another drop to the downside here i have not longed yet okay for if this zone is the way that i'll always approach my trade so the way that i approach the trade when we come down to my target here will be looking at the lower term time frame order flow and strength in the market so within here we are looking at things such as the order book we're looking on the, like the tape we are looking at, you know, looking to see how many orders are being added, removed. This is what we get from the depth of market DOM. We're combining that with the order flow, where we're looking at things such as the delta, the volume, CVD. Okay, we can start to really make things complex when we're looking at the HL candles and the trade counts and the speed of the candles that are being formed. For that, we use things such as trend rev candles, or we can use volume candles. So, you know, things can get fairly complex and complicated um, when you are looking for the entry trigger at very important critical levels. I would always tell you this. If you want to know, for me, there's there's two options when we hit my target zone. It will be option number one, which is no strength. There's only weakness, and I will not long and continue to look down for lower prices, my next target. Okay. Alternatively, we come here, we get a very good bullish reaction, very nice switch in order flow, and then we'll actually be looking for that long trigger, to look for a reversal back up you know if you struggle with that information then obviously the first place i'll always give my trade updates i'll give my bias i'll give you know exactly how i'm trading it the first place i'll always give that update is for the champions inside of the champions discord okay this is where i you know will give my biases this is where i'll give my trade opinions exactly what i'm looking for next okay uh inside of the champions membership so if you want that uh, information trades before anybody else it will always be for, posted first inside of the champions membership group okay um alternatively you know you can learn from us which is what we teach okay we teach you all the tools necessary to make those informed decisions yourself so if you would like to learn and you know fish for yourself without having to wait on myself and of course we offer that as well because we have the whole course of educational library from beginner okay up to master level where you've got the advanced strategies you've got the tpo you've got the volume you've got the footprints you've got atus software exo software everything necessary to to learn and make those decisions yourselves if you want the guidance well then we also give that over via the discord right <laughs> um but yeah basically i'm looking for another subsequent drop here to the weekly I will always have an invalidation, um, and that is if we start to reclaim this NPOC. Then that would be, okay, we actually pivoted at the $26,000 psychological, and if we reclaim that, then again, I'd have to admit, hey, I was wrong here. I'm looking for lower currently. If we bounce from here, I miss that trade. I was wrong on looking for lower prices, okay? Um, but as it stands, I do not believe I'm wrong. I do not believe we'll get uh, our, our target zone hit. Uh, sorry, for like front runner missed. I, I believe that we will get our target hit down here. Again, I want to remind you one final time that this is a zone. 
it's not a exact dollar here. I'm, I'm looking at the zone of the weekly. But for me, this is not quite hit the zone yet. So I'm looking for another low. Then we could look for maybe an SFP of this low, right? So um, for me, that's my bias. It's looking down towards my next target. When I hit my next target, I'm going to analyze here the order flow and the volume that comes into the market. From there, I make an informed decision of executing a long trade or remaining, you know, short looking for lower prices. Uh, for me, it's a simple game now of remaining patient, keep analyzing the market, keep analyzing the volume. Again, this is why it's important to remove that bias, because if I see something change in the charts, I will, of course, update you all. But as it stands, it's important to keep you reviewing that order focus. Imagine if I would had my bullish bias and I was not looking for new information here. I had just slept on the new patterns. I had slept on the bearish order flow forming. And then I'm suddenly seeing price go from 27,000 to 26,000. You know, I'm missing out on a big move. And that's the importance. Just this was a beautiful example. It really was of, you know, having to keep on top of the market, even when it's quote unquote boring or sideways action, you know, you got to be on top of the market. You can't sleep on the market. You cannot ignore it. You cannot, you know, get distracted. You got to analyze, come in here every day and, you know, really, you know, keep on top of things if you want to be the best. And, you know, naturally as a champion, I want to be the best. I'm not here to uh, be second best to anybody. So, you know, that means I got to work the hardest and, uh, you know, that's something I'm very proud of. So, uh, yeah, we made the correct decision there on calling for the drop. We've got the drop. I'm not longing yet. I'm looking for another drop. That's my target zone. From there, I'll make another informed decision. If we get the reaction I want, I'll look for the long because this for me is very, very big, important support. If we unfortunately don't get that reaction, then I'll simply look down towards my next level in a level to level trading environment. As always, thank you ever so much, everybody. I truly hope that you have understood the insights, how I understand and read this information. And, uh, you know, slowly each video is becoming more and more understandable and you're able to follow along and, you know, make some profits alongside us. If you want more precise guidance, the community, the educational content, you get all of that via chartchampions.com. OK, so I'm going to wrap it there. I'm going to say thank you ever so much. I hope you've enjoyed. And uh, that's me signing out. Thank you and goodbye.